Tomorrow, Kenya will be having a bash like no other, celebrating her 60th birthday since the attainment of independence from the British colonial rule. As expected, pomp and color will be aplenty as the state rolls out a red carpet honor for the high and mighty, as the country rolls back the clock on the pain, sweat, and sacrifice paid by the founding fathers of our nation. Men and women of steel who fought hard for the freedom we enjoy today. However, if these founding fathers were to wake up from their sleep, scan the country, they would no doubt have mixed feelings on the status of our sports. You see, Kenya has blown hot and cold as far as sports growth is concerned. The heroics of the late pugilist Robert Wangila, who won Kenya her first and only Olympic gold medal in boxing in the welterweight category in the 1988 Summer Olympic Games, should have ushered in an era of success in the ring. Sadly, nearly four decades later, none of our boxers is yet to replicate the feat. That would surely shock the founding fathers. Equally on the track, Kenya has had its name mentioned with respect among its nations as our all-conquering athletes led by Eliud Kipchoge, Kelvin Kiptum, Faith Kipiegon, Ferdinando Manyala. The list is endless. Bring glory, making our flag fly high, and our national anthem reverberate across European capitals. However, we need to ask, why despite all these successes, the country is yet to offer these athletes the basics? The facilities, the independence heroes and heroines won't be too pleased by that. In the far flung corners of the country, stretching from Turkana to Lodwa to Kitale to Lungalunga and to the bare, desolate pitches in Lamu and West Fokot, many talents are nipped in the bud before they sprout. Reason being, lack of talent identification mechanism. Our forefathers won't be pleased by this. For, though, for the few who have hit the glass ceiling, the Olieches and Marigas and Wanyamas, their tales are almost similar. Individual brilliance and personal sacrifice. So much so as it is as if their success is by accident. So as we celebrate the 60th birthday tomorrow, this is a call to action. A call to treat our sports with respect and dignity and put in motion the measures needed for it to flourish. And that is my shot.